So let's talk about iOS 18. iOS 18 got introduced at WWDC 2024. And I can say that this is one of the biggest updates to iPhone. And one of the most important factors determining that is actually the customizability. So we now have the possibility to customize our home screen, our lock screen, our control center, almost to anything we want. And in this video, I'd like to share with you how you can customize your home screen, how you can customize the newly redesigned control center, as well as the lock screen. If you want to customize your iPhone and truly make it your own, you definitely need to watch this video. iOS 18 is the ultimate customization update. And this is something I've been waiting for for years. So first, let me show you that we're running iOS 18 on this device. Go to settings and in here I scroll down to uh, general and in general we go to about and as you can see iOS 18, that's the version we're running. And I'm going to show you the three main elements, the three main customization screens. Let's start with the lock screen. It is the first screen we're always faced with. Start with changing our wallpaper. So we've always done this the same way. So you long press and you hit customize. Um, select lock screen and let's say we want to change the photo eh? so this is nothing new but it's going to be important for what's to come and now let's change the wallpaper to something a bit more personal let's go for this one this is my new wallpaper and it looks absolutely amazing so yeah what you can do in here is change the font color to this new rainbow design so in the past you can only choose add some straightforward colors not really a gradient and now you have the possibility to do that so that's really awesome maybe most importantly is that after after so many years we can now change the button buttons on the lock screen let's start for example with changing this one up in the bottom left which is the torch and now yeah you can put anything you want in there the list is absolutely endless also with shortcuts this is opening up a massive new world of possibilities here and we're not going into detail right now about that but yeah let's say i want to remove the torch and have the calculator in there you can do that how awesome is that after so many years same one for the bottom right right one let's change the camera and remove it because it's actually really useless right there let me show you why in just a second let's say we want the stopwatch there then you have your stopwatch there when you're done and happy with the design you can just hit done in the top right you're good to go and look at that how awesome is this with the new buttons and again i really recommend not to put the camera in the bottom right and that's for the simple reason that you can just scroll to the left and then you have your cameras so it's really not smart to put your camera icon in the bottom right make it something useful and also don't forget that if you don't want any of the buttons, you also have the possibility to completely eliminate them. And then you have this amazing clean lock screen. Like how awesome does this look? And still you can just swipe to the left and then you still have access to your camera. All right, now let's head over to the home screen. The home screen got its biggest update ever. And let's start with the placement of app icons on the screen. So as you can see, I added this new wallpaper on my cat, but it's just covered with the apps and I actually want to see the cute little face of my cat which is now possible in previous versions of iOS. So now in iOS 18, and we just long press as always, and now we can actually place the icons anywhere we want. So let's say we're gonna remove these tags um, right here, just to clean up, and still the face is covered. But now what we can do, we can actually place icons wherever we want on the lock screen. So we can place them as you can see here on the bottom. And you can see now the wallpaper in the back becomes really nice and visible. If I want, I can even remove this and put that here and remove TikTok and put that there. You can actually place them however you'd like. And people are going to have a lot of fun with this feature. As you can see now, my cat's a bit more visible. So I can even better see my cat or any wallpaper you have will have the possibility to really stand out on your new home screen. Now we're not done yet. This is just the beginning. What you can do here is you can long press and then we hit edit in the top left and then we hit customize. And now as you can see, you have this new menu with small and large in the top and you can also change the colors and the designs of the apps. So let's start with, for example, large. This actually makes your app icons larger and at the same time removes the labels. So let's check that out. It's large, check that out. How clean and awesome does that look? Not only are you able to better press on the app icons, but also the labels are removed, which I think looks incredibly nice and really clean. So that's one. And the second one is that you have the possibility to change from dark to light. You can do this automatically. Here you can see these apps are changing because eh, obviously these are Apple's native apps, which already have this feature and third-party apps don't have this yet, but every app developer 
will be able to also integrate a dark mode of their icon. We can go back to light and also what you can do is change the tint. And this is really awesome. What you already see is that iOS 18 or your iPhone is immediately identifying the main primary color in your wallpaper and based on that makes the colors of your apps and check out how awesome this looks. Let's go back because there's actually something more I'd like to share with you is that yeah you can also just pick any other color from your wallpaper. Let's make it a little bit more brighter so as you can see here this is the nose but maybe we want to add a bit of green you can do that as well. We scroll up here and we have some green here and look at that you can change the depth also how strong you want and also if you don't want to use the color picker you can just go to the rainbow here and then you can select any other color you'd like that maybe fits well with your wallpaper for now let's keep it a bit more simple based on the color of my cat and just press it and we're good to go check out how your new home screen now looks and number three has to do with the control center we all know you swipe in the top right to the bottom and then you open the control center what we now have you have this full new design and as you can see if you long press here you get this new menu with your default settings like airplane mode mobile data vpn is now added and also the satellite so that's already pretty cool now what you can also do in here is scroll down and you can have new types of menus so for example now these are the default ones so apple music and your connectivity but you can also edit this so we long press this we can edit the lock screen and we come back here in a second but just scroll down and then you can actually add any other control in here and fully make your control center your own and actually the options here are endless as well similar to the lock screen you can add anything you want in here also third party app developers will be able to integrate their own designs here their own apps in here which is awesome so let's go back to the main control center here so yeah you can add the controls and here are some really nice and nifty things first of all uh, you can drag and place the app icon wherever you want we want to have calculator in there also we can actually make the fields bigger so let's say we want to have dark mode and want to have this tile bigger click on the bottom right and you can broaden the tiles and let's say we want to make shazam a little bit bigger you can swipe from the bottom right to the right or bottom right really depends your own style however you want to make it how big you want to make it you have that possibility now so this is really awesome and also small little detail that, that apple has added here is now as you can see in the top right there's this turn off or power off icon and when you click it you can immediately power off your iphone how awesome is that all right guys so yeah that's it these are the main new customizations in ios 18 i hope you really enjoyed this i hope this was useful make sure to hit the like button subscribe hit the bell icon as well so you don't miss any of my other videos thanks for being here and see you in the next one peace